the framework basically takes care of all of the rest. So you don't have to write HTML, you don't have to write JavaScript, CSS, XML, anything. You don't need to worry about communication between server and browser. You don't need to worry about browser differences. Vaadin takes care of all of that for you. If you, don't, if you want to know more about it, then I suggest you visit our booth upstairs. Uh, we're still there until the end of the day, so we can tell you more about the framework itself. You don't need to touch the client side at all. You don't need to write JavaScript at all. The framework takes care of that for you. You're left with making the actual backend and then coding new button and add to layout. It's really as simple as that, and I'm going to show you it a little later on. Vaadin is a component framework, first and foremost. So we have dozens and dozens and dozens, hundreds of components. And we basically, it's a bunch of Legos. We give you the bricks and you can build whatever you want. In this particular session, we're going to talk about a couple of specific bricks, namely the Vaadin TouchKit add-on and everything that it provides. So a few specific bits of Legos, but there's a lot more to be had. We use GWT under the hood, so if you're wondering what's the magic behind it, we use Google Web Toolkit for a lot of the stuff behind the scenes. Uh, so again, if you're more interested in that, come talk to me after, after the talk and, and I'll explain everything to you. Feel free to do that if you want to. TouchKit has an AGPL license or a commercial license if you want to develop for actual companies and sell, sell the thing. But for open source, AGPL3 works fine. So, that's a very, very brief look into Vaadin, and you're going to catch on a little bit when I'm going to do some live coding for you later on. But let's jump back to our issue. So we want to have mobile applications, and we want to make it easy. We don't want to have three different platforms that we develop and different versions for different sizes and all of that weird stuff. We want to make it easy for ourselves. So, the answer, we think, is server-side mobile applications. That sounds a little bit weird, doesn't it? It's like, are you really? Are you really sure you want to be doing this? But the reason why we want to do this is simple. Productivity. Uh, I know that a lot of you are students, but some of you probably are already in the working life and as a programmer at some software company, this is the name of the game when you are working in a software production house. You need to be productive. Whatever you're building, it ne you need to be productive. You can't waste your time. You need to choose your tools so that you don't have to fight with the tools. And with Vaadin, since the, tools, uh, the stack of tools is basically Java and whatever Java IDE you have and a browser. That's it. And the browser you need to actually view things, not to code against. And that's it. There is no other things. You can use whatever Java library you want. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever backend technology you want. You can use Spring. You can use CDI. You can use uh, NoSQL databases. You can use Graphs databases. You can use JPA, Java EE, if that's, that's your thing. Vaadin doesn't really care, and it allows you to use all of those. Oh yes, Android, of course, as well. We're going to need to support Android. It's the most used platform anyway. Well, now you have two times your code base. Oh yes, there's this thing, this thing called Windows Phone as well. Now you have three times your code base. So if we move to a completely separate strategy, then we can save a lot of time and a lot of money. Maintaining three different branches for your application is costs both time and money, and it's not something that managers really like to look on. For the end user, it's a, bit, a little bit different. But for the end user, they appreciate that your app looks and behaves exactly the same, whether you're looking at a, window a Windows phone or an Android phone or an iPhone or a whatever tablet or a desktop application. If it works and behaves exactly the same, then you have done a good job designing it. With Vaadin, you can combine all of those into one code base, and it's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money. Yes, it's not going to be native. But as we're going to see soon, you can still do quite a lot of things with modern web applications. So, my suggestion for this, instead of having three different... Uh, and just a disclaimer, of course, I'm not saying that Vaadin is the best tool for every kind of thing. For some things, you really do need native. 
APIs. For games, for instance, something that you need a lot of performance from the device itself, of course, you, you need to go native. There's really no other choice there. 